Hello, this is Mr. Kaoru and today we're going to do a part 2 of the full Miyashima Parfums first impression, the low series and the kimono series. So stay tuned. Today we're going to do a full first impression review of Miyashima Parfums and this would be the part 2 and we're going to tackle the, the low series and the kimono series. So if you haven't checked my part one, I highly recommend you to uh, watch that. Also, part one would be a full set of 10 perfumes from the Heritage Collection. And today we're going to do another 10 uh, perfumes. To begin with, I believe the low series would be the lighter, fresher style of fragrances. I think I'd better start with the low series rather than the um, more dense type of perfumes, I believe, which would come from her kimono series. So first, see, uh, this is the only information I have about her fragrances. Only like, I don't even have any notes, just the genre. First of all, all her low series are, uh, even if they're the fresher style, they'll all eau de parfum concentration. I think the first one would be Rudy. All of her low style fragrances, except for the new one, are all named after a particular Japan style of color. So Rudy would be the uh, the color of this light blue, uh, which you can see from here. Okay, so now Rudy, this comes with atomizer. Okay, yeah, this one is very fresh, a little bit powdery, a little bit fruity also and very aquatic for me so it's supposed to be aquatic woody yeah so i mean that's uh, at least the genre that it's coming from yeah it's very aquatic very pleasing very mass appealing yeah and there's some kind of saltiness also coming through which you kind of get from millisime imperial from creed but it's not that it's more on the aquatic uh kind of things as it dries down, it's getting a little bit sweet. It's woody, but it's not that. Uh, it's not too woody. I mean, it's not dry. It's very pleasant. It's almost like, um, I don't know if it's the right word to use, but it's a very soapy, bubbly. Um, makes you feel very clean. Very nice. Okay, so let's go to... The next one would be Yamabuki. So Yamabuki would be this color. So the light yellow color. And it's supposed to be a citrus woody. So let's start. Yeah, bouquet. Okay, this one is a little bit more mature. I mean, I think uh, Rudy would be very uh, appealing to the masses. Fit to very young people also. Um, very young, even, uh, you know, it, it's almost kind of even to the extent to me that it's kind of sporty. Yeah, Buki is a little bit more grown up. There is a lot of citruses in there. It, I think there's, yeah, there's lemon. There's lemon, but more like a lime kind of uh, zestiness. Very nice, actually. I love. I kind. I really like this one. Yeah, and then there's that cedar wood, woody base. I'm kind of getting uh, a little bit of juniper berry kind of medicinal kind of uh, feeling to it, which I really enjoy. See, I have no, <laughs> I have no uh, clues uh, for the notes, but I'm not traditionally too good at um, pointing out notes. So forgive me if I'm totally wrong about the notes. Yeah, so there's a lot, a little bit more um, matureness uh, into this fragrance. Very nice. I can't stop smelling this one also. I mean, I really like Yabuki. First impressions are fabulous. Next one would be Kikyo. So Kikyo would be a flower. When Kikyo represents a color, it's supposed to uh, represent this light purplish color. Uh, as per her uh, notes, uh, it's supposed to be a spicy citrus. No other, uh, no other explanation except for that, so really challenging for me by the way these samples come in very beautiful packaging very okay great 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 this is another one that i really like um it is citrus obviously while having some cinnamon notes 
not ginger, but maybe um, cinnamon, cinnamon, clove, kind of very lightly uh, distributed. It hints me a little bit of the incensiness, and I it really reminds me of Japanese um, incense, and uh, you know like uh, Japanese temples, Buddhist Buddhist temples. But it's not that harsh. It's not that dense. Uh, it's not that smoky. It's very put together in a very light way. Yeah, so it reminds, it's a fresh, very fresh take on the uh, instancy temple-ish like uh, qualities um, of ja Japan. I really enjoy this, yeah. So this one's good. Next one would be Matsuba. So it would be this light green color. And uh, Matsuba is supposed to be a minty aromatic. Okay, this is an, another different one. Okay, massively minty. Masses and masses of mintiness. Very herbal, very fresh. Oh, this is this would be an awesome summer fragrance. Very herbal, yes. Um, I feel the basil, uh, rosemary. I mean, doses of mint. I mean, it's like cool crush of uh, mint and ice. It kind of reminds me of mojito without the uh, boozy nature of it. And it does really, um, you know, the mintiness really uh, does match with this coloring, with the matzaba color, with the light green. Yeah, and then it's getting a lot more aromatic and aromatic. Yeah, I, I can feel all the uh, herbs. This is awesome. This is great. Ice and mint and herbs come into mind, really. Kind of a sweetness. I don't know what's that coming from, though. This is... This is super. I mean, I think this is my favorite one so far from the low line. Mods are very interesting. Yeah, I mean, I get, I keep getting the uh, smashed ice uh, mint, you know, explosion kind of thing. Okay, so the next one would be Momo. Okay, Momo would be um, peaches in Japanese, and it represents this color. And it's supposed to be a fruity floral. Yeah, it's a little bit a uh, more. Uh, darker color compared to the other low lines Okay, so immediately I get a lot of flowers a doses of rose maybe geranium I mean initially I'm not getting too much fruitiness. It's all about watery floral. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of powderiness irisy irisy powderiness. I mean yes, there is a little bit of a sweet uh, fruity kind of touch there but Fruits don't pop up as much as I would have expected it to. It's really elegant. Um, it's not peachy at all. Yeah, it's getting a little bit peachy as it dries down. But the opening is iris, uh, geranium. I'm still a little bit um, not sure about this one. Yeah, so as it dries down, the sweetness of these peaches are starting to uh, catch up. It gets a little bit more stickier, relatively. I mean, it's still very fresh. Yeah, great, great. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So this would be the last one of the low series. And this is Kozome. So Kozome, I believe, if I'm not wrong, I believe it would be a uh, method of uh, dyeing in Japanese. But I don't think it would uh, represent any particular color. I, I think this is her newest um, current uh, creation. I think it's released uh, in 2020 only and you know she's put a lot of uh, emphasis on this one I think yeah I mean there's maybe she did some collaboration on this one so high expectations that opened really nicely so it's supposed to be a spicy woody I'm getting a lot of spiciness obviously I'm getting a lot of doses of black pepper a little bit of hinoki dry woodiness ambery touches smokiness from the hinoki actually i think i think this would be hinoki very dry woodiness on the base amber is there i mean for me i think this is um this is the most uh dark stand i think this would be for me a no standard perfume almost i wouldn't say this is a freshie uh, i mean it's light but how it approaches you is kind of light but the scent itself is uh, quite uh, dark. I wouldn't say dark, but it's perfumey. Okay, so I get a little bit of powderiness. I think this would be some Camarin. Yeah, and then it's blending with the woods. When would I wear this? You know, it's kind of a uh, kind of difficult one. I'm getting a little bit more of a uh, fall kind of impression. Very fall, you know. Yeah, this is quite bold on the cedar wood. 
hinoki cedar wood and then pepper i i would have personally uh put this into the more of the heritage collection kind of scent making but very interesting um, she wanted to classify this as a uh, as her low collection so quite interesting i think the ingredients are pretty pretty darn good yeah i'm getting a maybe vetiver yeah maybe patchouli yeah so i mean what i those notes that i'm saying are all like you know quite dark and bold so surprising to see this in the low collection actually okay so that would be my first impression for the low series i would like to go into the uh kimono collection so so she has four perfumes in her kimono series kimono series are you know getting impressions from that japanese dress you know the the kimonos these are the most expensive perfumes in her lineup so first i want to start with kimono sakura there's a perfume named sakura in her heritage collection as well so i'm very curious on what's the difference between those two and you know the kimono version so is it would it be, would it be the same uh kind of uh scent profile or would it be completely different okay so this is a quite difficult um i would say it's uh quite similar to the earlier sakura which i tested a few weeks ago similar but i think this is a little bit more darker it's more denser yeah and sakura was actually one of my favorites in her uh heritage collection yeah so i think there's a little bit more opulence added into the sakura compared to the heritage collection sakura the heritage collection sakura was actually quite uh casual it was very um mass appealing very clean uh, fresh floral fragrance for me i think this would be cherry blossom scent but you know i'm getting ilang ilang and roses i think this would be a, a um a heritage collection sakura on steroids you know you're getting a little bit more oomph to the entire experience fabulous i very much enjoy this if i if i'm buying i'd i'd say i'd prefer kimono sakura over the heritage sakura very elegant exotic floral awesome okay so that's great so next one would kimono kaze okay so actually um yeah so all of these collection all of her uh kimono series there is a same uh version in the heritage collection so um Kaze was also there. I don't have a very strong impression of the original Kaze. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say original or... I don't remember it too much. Uh, it didn't really stick to my memory that well. See, so it's this Kaze is very difficult, I mean, for me. So it's supposed to be a refined aromatic vetiver, okay? Yeah, so, okay. Actually, I got a cheating sheet for Kaze. I'm not sure if this is similar to the Heritage Kaze. Yeah, it's similar, yeah. But quite different. It's not similar like uh, the Sakura one. So it's supposed to be a uh, refined aromatic vetiver. Top is yuzu, pine leaf. Hard is uh, jasmine, olibanum, cypress. Base is cedar vetiver, oak moss, and musk. Okay, so this is very difficult for me. I'm not... Yeah, I'm getting pine leaf, cedar wood. Yeah, I'm getting the vetiver now rudy touches but it comes across you know like it's not it doesn't come across too heavy so yeah i mean you know kaze is like it's kind of like a you know idea right it's not some it's not a particular scent the scent also is kind of like that concept it's you can't really jump on to a conclusion that this is like this or this is like that i don't think it's correct to say it's a strange smell um it's like it's a hard one to put conclusions on it swifts around um you get different impressions of it you know on each sniff it swivels around like you know like the wind or something it's not too overpoweringly dark i am getting the better i'm getting the woods but it's very hard to distinguish okay so that would be kaze personally it it's a little bit difficult one for me okay so next one would be kimono yuki yuki was also in the heritage collection um to me it was it was very similar to the ohm eau de toilette it really reminded me of that let's see what this one smelled like okay again a very exotic iris opening okay so this is going into a different very different direction it's not going into that chocolatey you know cocoa kind of vibe the heritage one had it's going to more of a aromatic 
kind of uh, direction. I'm sorry, the other one was also aromatic, but it's not going into that lavender kind of lavender cocoa kind of vibe. It has a zestiness. And there's something very sharp. It has a very sharp pepperiness. So this one's very interesting. This is a peppery, irisy, and then herbal take. Uh, the opening was quite same to the earlier Yuki, but this is completely different now. It's in a pepper herbal uh, kind of composition right now. And then there's a little bit of uh, animalicness. I don't, I don't think it's civet, but uh, some kind of uh, slight animalic touch. Yuki is supposed to mean snow, but does it remind me of snow? Mm, not really. It doesn't re remind me anything like snow. Maybe the irisy part, but this iris doesn't also go into that powdery nature, which is quite interesting. Yeah, so this is very different from the uh, heritage Yuki. Very interesting. Yeah, I like this. I like I like this over the heritage one actually. Okay, and then the last one uh, would be kimono hinoki. So Hanoki is a uh, Japanese cypress. Uh, the earlier heritage Hanoki was quite a uh, dry, uh, foresty uh, kind of thing. Okay, the juice is quite yellow, uh, quite dark. So Hanoki is supposed to be spicy woody. Hmm. That explains a lot. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Dry, woody, Hanoki, same. It's got a lot more oomph. It doesn't, um, the earlier Hanoki, it reminds me of a very transparent green, you know, foresty kind of uh, scene, but this one's a lot more, you know, it's got a lot more oomph to it. It's a lot more spicy. You get some a little bit oodiness. It's a little bit more animalic, it's much more smokier. Oh, Jesus. Fabulous, yeah. This is great, this is great. It's got a lot of black pepper spiciness with hanoki woods, 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 dry, dry, dry woods, quite smoky instancy, but it's still kind of holding that transparent nature in the background. I mean, it doesn't completely go into a sticky or anything. It's still maintaining that transparency. Awesome. I think I like hanoki the most, even though it's very bold and hard, but it's still got that transparency. I think I like this the most. Otherwise, I think I like Matsuba uh, from the low line today. Okay, so that would pretty much cover all of my uh, first impressions uh, for the Miyashima Parfums entire collection. To summarize, I did have a very fun experience from getting to sniff 20 different fragrances absolutely worth the money I paid. I highly recommend you to uh, get your hands on this. You don't get much better deals uh, for samplers uh, from niche companies. Um, 20 is almost insane. Please, please everyone, you should try it out. The quality of each fragrance is off the charts. Um, this is one of my favorite, favorite uh, houses. I had so much fun. I'm gonna have even a lot more fun going forward getting to test all these on my skin throughout the day. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching today. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hope to see you in the next video. So bye-bye.